just a knock of things ago. But still a telling figure of the many willing to risk everything to escape conflict and poverty. On a dark Easter night, a small village near Mexico City waits for creatures from another world. They arrive, spewing fire and flame. These are the Shimos, demons over six meters tall. Every Easter, they're created and destroyed in Santa Rosa Sociedad. Huge teams spend months on their Shimo, like the 140 strong Espinosa clan. We visited as they applied the finishing touches. Family patriarch Eduardo and his son explained why they made so much effort for such a brief finale. When they're burnt, it represents killing all the evil of the past year, so that only the good remains. The day before the burning, the Shimas are dragged through the town streets and paraded in the square. It's a surreal, rambunctious celebration where monsters mix with diabolical clowns and a giant demonic bull menaces the crowd. 97-year-old Felipe Lopez still doesn't get tired of the spectacle. She's proud of the unique tradition of the village she helped found many years ago. The young have that energy, that joy in participating, and that's why this tradition has continued until now and will carry on. The Shimo sprung up from the wider Catholic tradition of burning red devils, like these ones, as effigies of Judas, the disciple who betrayed Jesus. At some point here, those classic Mexican figures mutated into something else entirely. No one seems to know exactly how the tradition evolved into these mythical figures, but the people here in Santa Rosa say that their very name, Shimo, comes from the pre-Hispanic Nahuatl language, which suggests a fusion of the indigenous and the Catholic worlds. But even as the Shimos have their day in the sun, their end is near. In a blaze of fire and fury, evil is vanquished. Until next Easter. We're also following. Okay, so they said Chemosh, right? So Chemosh in the Hebrew Bible uh, was the god of the Moabites, all right? It says uh, the etymology <clears throat> of Chemosh is unknown. He's also known as Ebla as Kamish. According to the Hebrew Bible, the worship of this god, the abomination of Moab, which we know is in the west coast of America, was introduced at Jerusalem by Solomon. So we just watched a video showing that they worship this in Mexico, and there's the Moab land in Utah area. <clears throat> he was introduced at Jerusalem by Solomon, but was abolished by Josiah. Uh, one of the Moabite stone Mesha uh, ascribed his victories over the king of Israel to this god. <clears throat> so we're going to look at the uh, Mesha Stella. So evidence about Chemosh. Information on Chemosh is scarce. Although archaeology, archaeology and text can render a clear picture of the deity, in 1868, an archaeological find at the Bon provided scholars with more clues to the nature of Chemosh. The find known as the Moabite stone or Mesha Stele was a monument bearing an, <clears throat> an inscription commemorating the 860 BC endeavors of King Mesha to overthrow the Israelite dominion of Moab. The vassalage had existed since the reign of David, but the Moabites revolted upon the death of Ahab. Consequently, the Moabite stone contains the oldest uh, existing inscription of a Semitic alphabet. So you can see that Ahaz went, made a covenant with the Creator and then he didn't live up to the covenant. And then, as you can see, many people rebelled. We were enslaved. The Moabites when rebel. The Moabite stone contains the oldest existing scripture of a Semitic alphabet. Mesha by a way, so this is like the oldest inscription of a Semitic alphabet. Mesha by way of textual example attributes his victory over the Israelites and their God to Chemosh, stating that Chemosh drove him 
him before my sights. Okay? So if we look at Chamosh, this is an inscription of Chamosh. It's like a reptilian god. So if you look in Hawaii, this is what we call Mo'o. And this is would be Chamosh in Hawaii, which was a lizard, half map, lizard, shapeshifter. And uh, he was a, a lower, lowercase god in Hawaii, an elemental being and all this stuff. This is uh, this is a Central American depiction of him. And this is where you get the reptilian things from. All right, see you guys.